Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. On this uh, video, we're going to discuss mixing uh, waste motor oil with uh, waste vegetable oil. I've had a few questions in my videos, can you do it? And my answer to that one is probably not. Um, I am doing this in a waste oil burner. So I am mixing in this old waste oil burner um gasoline waste motor oil and the tailings um from these tanks when i drain these i take the the waste oil out of the bottom which kind of looks like this see that milky sediment that goes into this tank so everything that's waste gets thrown into this tank Over time, for some reason, the motor oil, you can see a little bit of antifreeze in the bottom, some water. Um, yeah, it's all water. I think I'll put a water separator on this thing because I am getting a bit of water into the stove itself. So anyway, back to the filter. This is an old furnace filter. It's just a felt filter. They're probably maybe 40, 50 microns. They're very cheap. Uh, this has gone the whole season. And um, I've burned about 150 gallons of waste oil in this furnace this uh, winter. And that's, that's what's left over. See that goopy stuff? Eventually that just turns into like a gooey, gluey substance and will plug your automotive filters. There's no way you can get this through a 5 to 10 micron filter or, you know, or less. It's so just I've taken the liberty of scraping some of this off. Um, and it's just a gooey, pasty sludge. You get this in your filters in your car, geez, you won't get 20 miles down the road. She'll be blocked. It's almost like automotive grease. That's what it's like. And in severe cases, it turns into like a glue. I have never experienced that. I've just seen videos of it from people experimenting. So, so my answer to um, my answer to mixing waste motor oil with veggie oil is uh, no. I mean, I'm doing it in my stove, but God, I mean, if the stove stops working, I just pull this filter out, and three minutes later, it's fixed. But in your car, it's a different matter, you know. You got injectors, you've got all these things, filters plugging all the time, just not going to work. Um, what I did though, I took a sample here, I put the date on this. So today's date was May, uh, May 19th, 2022. And I put in 30% uh, gasoline, 30% waste veggie oil, and 30% waste motor oil. Uh, 40 weight out of my Detroit diesel and what we're gonna do is let that sit over the months and um, And then we'll let it settle and see what falls out into the bottom. I've got lots of uh, Old you know antifreeze here oil and antifreeze You know so We'll see what happens I'm pretty sure a sludge falls out and settles on the bottom because that's what I'm getting out of my uh, my filters here. It's just sludge. So there you have it, guys. That's the answer to some of your questions. Mixing waste motor oil and veggie oil. Ah, do one or the other. 
do waste motor oil and gas or waste motor oil and diesel or waste veggie oil and gas and diesel they mix no problem but waste motor oil and waste veggie oil mixed with gas I think you're gonna run into trouble anyway it's to be continued we'll follow up as time goes by and see what happens again thanks for checking in and uh, we'll catch you on the next video take care